Welcome back. If you're new to the channel and you like what we're doing here, please subscribe. Also, if you like the channel, that helps the algorithm spread the video to more people. But today we're headed towards Ebahar and we're going towards Kalibu too. But now we're on the road to Ebahar. We're going about 80 some miles an hour, 86, 85. We're just cruising along on this CRF 300L. It's a nice street bike. Today we want to give a shout out to one of our subscribers, our good subscribers named Oscar. He's in North Carolina. He was here about three months ago. He loved it. He's planning on retiring in about three years or less. Thank you, Oscar, for hanging out with us on the channel and enjoying the shows. And thank all of you for hanging out with us today. We're going riding on that 300L, the Honda CRF. It's a nice bike. A few of you ask, why did I retire to the Philippines? And the dollar strong, the dollar stronger than about 20 years, it's so strong right now. And the value is good, the cost of living is low in the Philippines. The people are extremely nice here. And it's the only Asian country that the people do speak English past those guys there on the motorcycle. And it's just a nice place, it's a law-abiding country. They welcome people who are retired from other countries to live here. You have to obey the laws of the land though. It's very important for foreigners to follow the rules and they can have a good, peaceful, happy life here in the Philippines. Another subscriber to the channel, The Great Deception, he says he has a Yamaha 225 and he just loves it. Yeah, the Yamaha 225 is nice. They have those, some of those have that fat tires. They're really nice. I had a friend who had that and he loved it. He eventually sold it, but that Yamaha is nice. There's a lot of great dual sport bikes. The CRF 300 is not the only dual sport bike past those people, but it's really nice, and there's lots of bikes that are good. It's just that we like the CRF 300L because it has so many features. It checks so many boxes. Another good subscriber, JT, he says that that Japanese engineer who designed that plastic license plate holder on the 300L needs to be recalibrated. However, JT, I say the guy needs to be fired. He made a terrible design on that plastic license plate holder, the stock one on the 300L. Do yourself a favor, buy that aftermarket one. They have a nice little license plate holder. You can leave the lights on. Just go ahead and make it nice and clean. You can do the wheelies and it looks a lot better too. We're headed on a country road to Ebahai. We did a few shows on Ebahai. It's a pretty cool little town. It has a haunted house, it has a cool cemetery. And one of the seamen has the My Last Voyage. My Last Voyage. It's a cemetery ship he built. He's buried in it. However, altar we talked about the chickens in the last show well i forgot i actually ran over a few chickens like two of them <laughs> on my xr 200 before once i was riding with the guys we were going real fast through a town and the chicken ran in my spokes and it just <gasps> wiped it out and the people the village people were passing this van the motorcycle another tricycle and another no maybe not another tricycle. and we, there's a car that's why we're not passing him and uh, the village people were yelling at me about the chicken we're entering into novice novice this is the town we're gonna pass that tricycle and the lady was yelling at me but i was going so fast another tricycle and i just didn't listen to the lady and another time I ran over a, a chicken, it was in the road, and the, the locals just grabbed and swooped up the chicken, and they put it in the frying pan, they start cooking that chicken right away, a fresh dead chicken. But here it is, a novice, and this is the basketball court to the left, the town hall to the right. We're gonna enter, uh, we're gonna leave novice pretty soon. There's a right hand turn. They have a stop sign. This is the only stop sign I've ever seen. Let's see if we can see that stop sign. Oh, we just passed it right there. There's a stop sign from America. Can you believe that? And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn towards the crossing 
the crossing going to Antiki. And if you go straight and then you turn left, you go to Kalibu. We're going to go to Kalibu. There's also Steve's Wildlife Farm on the right-hand side. He's no longer there. He had all these poison snakes and crocodiles and stuff. It was wild. We did a blog on it like five years ago but he's no longer here. Another good subscriber, The Patriot, he rode that 300L 80 miles, he said, just the other day. He loved the tires. He said there's no issue. In my last show, I said, just run those stock tires. It's okay. They're pretty hard and they run really good on the street. The pavement tires are good. I'm nervous if it's wet road, so I go a little slower, but if it's dry like the road like this, it's fine. Run those tires and wear them out. And buy some new tires after that. He said the resale value was great, but who wants to sell the 300L? Ride it. Here's the Nobis Crossing. If you go straight, you go to Antiki, you turn left, you go to Kalibu. We're going to Kalibu, and we're passing motorcycles along the way. We're going to go to Antiki another time. It's really cool over there, but this time we're headed towards Kalibu and Ebahai. It's a this is a straight road. This thing, you can go fast on this road. I think we're going close to 100 miles an hour here on this particular road. The Honda 300 CRF L is not a really a fast bike. It's just a quick bike. It accelerates fast. It doesn't really burn the speed. It, I think we got this top speed at 101 miles an hour. That's about the max I rode it. It's a new bike, so I didn't want to push it too hard. But, you know, I think where are we at here? 91, 92 miles an hour, 98 miles an hour. JT asked me if we do any other motorsports or go ahead and film anything of motorsports in the Philippines. They have a road racing with these smaller bikes. They're all souped up. They go pretty fast. These guys haul buns. They're just local teenage boys. They really fly. I've seen it on TV. And they have the motocross tracks. Some of these motocross tracks like La Baca and Tibial. I've done motorcycle wheelie shows at those particular events, two of them, and they have motocross and it's pretty cool. I'd like to go ahead and make some shows at these events, but there's not that much. I'd love to get a Speedway bike from America, build a Speedway track here in the Philippines, and show these people what the 500cc Speedway bikes are all about. They go fast. Maybe I could win a championship. Be the champion of the Philippines. Chad was amazed that I had run over six dogs and lived to tell for you. When you have the Enduros with those 21 inch tires, those high ground clearance, you can run over. I was in Antiki. Remember Antiki, that road? I was there going about 90 and a dog was playing on the side of the road and ran right in front of me at 90. I thought it for sure I was gonna go down and I just held on real tight passing this guy and the dog just got ran over and the passenger on the back she turned around and said there's blood there's blood thank you so much for hanging out with us we're going to continue our trip we're going to go to ebahai next and thank you so much please subscribe ring the bell and we're going to see you we're going to see you next time